When Dr. Henry P. Rothwell died back in 1939, he swore that there wouldn't be anyone crying at his funeral. In fact, he considered it almost like a selfish to expect his friends and family to mourn his death. He couldn't bear the thought of bringing that kind of sadness into their lives. Instead, he aimed to put one last smile on their faces, to leave them laughing instead of grieving. And you can't really blame him either. The good Dr. Rothwell saw more than his fair share of death and depression during his years of practicing medicine here in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. You know, I found plenty of accounts of him treating some, like, pretty gruesome injuries. Like, even including a guy who broke his spine in a car crash. Whew. So, it makes sense that Dr. Rothwell had enough of that gruesome, depressing stuff, right? So, rather than buy a normal headstone, Dr. Rothwell commissioned a very special grave marker. This big boulder sitting here. This big old hunk of rock was hauled to the cemetery from Dr. Rothwell's farm. He picked it out specifically for his little joke. Now, at first glance, you really aren't going to notice anything all that crazy about this stone. Like, it's got his name on it and a nice little plaque, the year of his birth, uh, all the normal stuff, right? But it's also got a little something extra, a little secret that requires some backstory to understand. See, while William Rothwell was undoubtedly a great doctor, he was elected to lead the Pawtucket Medical Association after all, he was kind of known for something else. Above all, Dr. Rothwell was known to be incredibly generous. There was nothing in the world that Dr. Rothwell loved more than picking up checks. If he's at a dinner party, then he's buying. If he's hanging out at the drugstore with his friends, he's the one footing the bill. If you and William Rothwell are both attending any kind of social gathering at all, then you better believe that you ain't dropping a cent. Dr. Rothwell is getting that check and he's making sure everybody knows it too. He's raising up his voice, absolutely booming out the words, this is on me. A line that would very quickly become synonymous with old William. This is on me became almost like his motto, his catchphrase. He would sign every check with this is on me and then add a little RX as his signature. People would literally just walk up to him and say it almost like a greeting like, hey there, William, this one's on me, right? <laughs> and so just to give his friends a reason to laugh, a reason to smile, if we check the very bottom of this massive boulder sitting right on top of the final resting place of William Rothwell, then we can see his little saying immortalized forever. This is on me. It certainly is, Dr. Rothwell. It certainly is.